Next up, it's my pleasure to introduce the OpenStreetMap US board members. Um, they're going to talk a little bit about their service and, and ways to get involved. And then there's probably going to be time for some questions. So um, whenever you're ready, I'll take it away. And you want to go first? Being president has some responsibility. Some. Um, I feel like I have said some things, but for people that missed my um, intro keynote, welcome to a discussion about the OSM US board and what it's like to serve on this. Um, we're, we're largely here, I think, to answer questions and talk about our different positions, but we do have um, the different positions that kind of emphasize, okay, there's the president, vice president, secretary, treasurer at large, um, and we have different responsibilities in those spaces. But largely we discuss and get together um, just kind of helping advise Maggie and her great team about things that OpenStreetMap US, the local chapter that we're the board of, um, things, priorities, like help them like kind of just be like, oh, okay, what what's a good thing to pay attention to? Um, what, what you know, avenue for the community for, for conversation back and forth between um, that team. So I'm, I'm, um, we all have our own definite interests. Um, Brian and I have shared some of ours already through our earlier presentations. There have been other board members, Maggie mentioned that um, before we had a paid executive director and team, the this board ran the entirety of OpenStreetMap US, but we've kind of shifted that a little bit to have a little bit more consistency in operations, which I think has been a great improvement. So we can talk about that. We can answer questions about uh, membership and what that means. What is our relationship to the OpenStreetMap Foundation and the membership there versus membership here? Because you can be a member of both. There's lots of topics that we can address. So I will pass it off to um, Matt. Do you want to do you want to kick in and just talk about your experience? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm a new board member, and I have. Uh... Uh, I have not not the unique position, certainly, but uh, I, I was not a member of the old guard before there was an executive director and these sorts of things. I just uh, I started mapping two years ago and somebody pinged me when there were elections last year and reminded me that people could run for these things and that, you know, stuff does need to get taken care of and uh, I've been doing stuff ever since. Um, and it's been really nice. It's been really good. It's, if you have some extra time and the willingness to call into some extra Zoom meetings and write notes and share opinions and read stuff about it, then it's it's a, it's been it's a really good. It's been really positive. Um, so uh, I don't have a particular, you know, uh, like Brian has Americana, you have trails. I don't have a particular initiative that is my thing. I kind of just have been supporting various other things and kind of mapping all over like I do. Um, so that's... Uh, you know, you don't have to have, you know, a lot of the pitch um, that I was hearing from folks is like, oh, you can be a board member that helps you, you know, give a little more voice to a certain issue that you might, you might care about deeply. And you don't have to have one thing that you want to go do. You can just come and be supportive and, and help. <laughs> There's stuff to do, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, my, 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 my pitch and the thing I want to say was, you know, run for the board, it, you know, it's, uh, it's nice. It's good. Everybody here is really friendly and these sorts of things. So, yeah. And it's coming up. So make sure you're a member if you want to vote and, or if you want to run, <laughs> uh, that's my pitch. I just want somebody um, earlier in the Q and A had asked a question about how do they put themselves forward? Um, and I, there is a link that was added there to that answer the question in the Q&A about the board elections and the timeline for it and how to um, nominate. You can nominate yourself. You can nominate somebody else um, so that go ahead and look for that link in that Q&A.
It's also in the Mapping USA um, Slack if you happen to be on Slack already. Yeah, I will say somebody bothered me and reminded me that that you know it was happening, but I, I nominated myself. I just added myself to the wiki and wrote my blurb and that sort of thing. It's totally normal. <laughs> so you're welcome, Matt, and uh, I'll go next. So, uh, so some perspectives I have. Uh, so someone asked uh, earlier in the conference what the qualifications were to be a board member, and uh, I believe the only actual qualifications are to be over eighteen years old and uh, sign up to be a member of Open Street Maps US at at the you know most naked level, um, and ultimately uh, we are a volunteer led organization, but we're a professional run organization, and we have. The executive director and the paid staff and for any board member that find themselves in a seat um, they also find themselves giving advice to uh, an organization that does this at their day job uh, day in and day out in most cases they've been doing it for longer than you've uh, been on the board um, and so your role on this board is is advisory and that's the that's the structure we set up when we hired an executive director and that was even before my time um and so uh, you should not see this as a sort of difficult step to take or too much for you um the only absolute minimum requirements are to uh, attend board meeting meetings and have a voice and you know we've got some private slack channels and that sort of thing where we can communicate amongst ourselves um but I, I've I've encouraged a number of people to run uh, over the years, and then some have found themselves in seats. And uh, you know, sometimes people just need that tap on the shoulder uh, to put their name forward. But if you're interested in Open Street Map, and you know, you think this is something you're going to be interested in for a while, and you want to put some time and energy in, um, even if you don't have a lot, even if you have a little, uh, you know, we can we can make that work. And so I would I would really strongly encourage it. Um, and you know, the more sort of thought diversity we have on the board, the the better we ref represent uh, all the different facets, right? I mean, Diane teaches, uh, I'm just a hobbyist. Um, you know, we've all got sort of different roles in the world and where we come from and how we intersect with the, uh, with the map. And, you know, we sort of uh, need all types. Obviously, if you have specific experience, uh, you've got, uh, you've, you've been on a nonprofit board before, you, you know, you can do the treasurer role is always, um, is always a big gimme. Um, but it's really not that scary. Uh, and so if you're looking for someone to tap you on the shoulder, you think you're on the fence, uh, let me know and I'll do that. Yeah. I can also have a weighty finger. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Yeah, if there are any questions, I know we're in webinar format. Um, let's see. Okay, there is there is a question in the Q and A. So great, we'll we'll look, mostly feed off of those during this session. So it says, being you guys have a strong organization, what is the main advice do you have to any local community trying to start as a chapter? So that's a good question. Um, so we we are the um, U.S. chapter, and being able to be a local chapter is, is trying to apply to the OSMF foundation to become a full chapter. And so there's a lot of things that um, they might look for in just a group, like what, what is your, your groundswell of activity? Who are your people? And, and it can start with um, just a small meetup group as well in a way like just starting with the group of people that you want to reach out to and do things with and, and keep letting that expand and have projects under your belt um, I think that's a really good first step in, th in being able to be a chapter um, any other comments about that or, or I guess maybe another question is um, like what kind of level of chapter are you thinking because being a chapter of OSMF versus just being a group of people that come together, you can still create and do amazing things in your area. You don't have to have that official recognition from the OSMF. I don't know if you want to elaborate on that in your question. I can. Uh, and that I was. Oh, go ahead, Patty. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm happy to elaborate on it. One of the things that was, was interesting and I hadn't sort of like hit until I started 
thinking about running for the board, running for the board being on the board now is, um, you know, there's OpenStreetMap Foundation and there's OpenStreetMap US and figuring out sort of, you know, one of the things that the board does and we talk about a lot is like, what is, what is the, what, what are our goals and what is the foundation goals and how, how do we work orthogonally? Cause they have stuff that they do and we don't want to, you know, th that's, that's their job and we don't want to compete with them. We don't, you know, we want to be har harmonious as we can. Um, but what are the things that we can do to add and do those sorts of things? That's sort of that, you know, that's a conversation that is ongoing that we have a lot. And um, so thinking about, you know, what is the goal of the org you're setting up, I think helps a lot of that kind of conversation. And like a lot of it's just like, well, yeah, we're just gonna get map people together to map and we're just gonna map and that'll be fun. And we're just gonna grow the mappers locally. Or is it, we wanna like support a tool that is used by the rest of the ecosystem. And so that's what the org is kind of about. And having an idea of that, just like it kind of makes the sales pitch easier when you're talking to people and trying to recruit people and get people together to do those sorts of things and build the org is like, you gotta have that two sentence. So what are you about? <laughs> The hook as it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll say OpenTreatMap US uh, did not start as a, a local chapter of the OpenTreatMap Foundation. So we, we formed as a mapping organization and we attained our chapter status later. And so if you want to become a local chapter, you start by becoming a local organization and then your organization applies. And so the community organizing piece starts first and probably the most important thing that you need to have as a community organization is a place to communicate. And whether that's an in-person meetup, uh, whether that's some kind of online chat or communication channel, uh, I, I think that's, that's the core and you build out from there. I have see another question here. Which tasks take up the bulk of your time as board members? Yeah, I was. I just saw that one too. Um, I would. It's kind of interesting. I, I'm going to say that our executive director would like us to say networking, <laughs> and being able to build those strong connections so that we can have good stability for all of the projects that we have going forward. How we actually spend our time might differentiate from that a bit. Um, for example, I do spend a lot of my time thinking about the trails stewardship initiative because that that is my passion. And so being running those meetings and volunteering to do that um, as board members, we can also volunteer to host Mappy Hours or some of the other events that um, OpenStreetMap US organizes just so that there is that outreach and community engagement platform. Um, Brian has um, projects that he works on as well. And, and it, I'm sure like is in deep in those. Um, I don't wanna speak for you, but go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, and, and by the way, uh, I do all of those in my personal capacity, not with my board member hat, right? So the actual board member work is really, you know, the once a month, we you know, we talk to Maggie, right? So when the day comes that I leave the board, whether it's uh, in a month or in two years from now, um, I will continue working on those projects, right? Those aren't part of the board role. Right. And and that's the same way that I am with the trails group is like, I will continue to be strongly involved there because again, all of these things are built to have community involvement. But I think aside from that, the board meeting where we kind of review the um, uh, um, executive director summary of everything that's happened and think about it and come with advice to that board meeting we do make ourselves, I think, a little bit more available than some might for doing things like plugging in where it's like, oh, we need somebody to host this mappy hour or could you do this? But again, that is that is volunteer time. But because we are involved at this level, um, we're a little more reachable. Um, so I, I think that's a nice aspect of it because it just helps keep everything going. Matt, did you have some thoughts about that since you don't have those those projects? Well, yeah, I'd say, and also, you, know, I, I'd you I'd are the secretary, a... so you might <laughs> I want am, to... Yeah, being being uh, the secretary means it's like two hours a month. Like it's an hour for the meeting. It's uh, half an hour probably to review stuff ahead of time and a half an hour afterwards to take care of all that sort of stuff. Um, so like, you know, the bulk of my board member time is in the meeting. 
Um, yep. There is a question um, about what does it mean to be a local chapter of OpenStreetMap versus not being one, and I guess that is hard for me to answer without understanding what group it is that you're referring to as an entity. So I think um, we may have answered this a bit already uh, when we are talking about people coming together and create mapping projects and doing things and then ended up obtaining local chapter status. So not being an um, OSMF local chapter just probably means that you're a group of great people with maybe a little less structure that does cool mapping things. I'm not sure if so, that's a <laughs> complete answer. So so there are a couple of specific things, um, but the main one is the ability to use the open street map and the state of the map trademarks. And so True. only a local, only a local chapter can, can use open street map and state of the map in their conferences. Um, and so that's that's sort of you know if that grant of officialdom is important to you, then uh, I think that's helpful. There there may be some financial reasons why there is a uh, utility in being a foundation board member in terms of the ability to accept money. I mean, uh, Open Street Map US is big enough that you don't have that kind of relationship with the foundation, and there's some kind of long history there. But primarily, uh, the trademarks are really the the key thing you get access to. There, there is also the ability to have a representative to go to the OSMF meetings as well, so that there is that um, more direct communication with that entity as well. Any other questions that people have? We also have some former board meeting board members in our attendees and on the panel. So I don't know if, if we want to invite them to offer any comments. Uh, we have about five minutes left. Yeah, I'm, I'm, they, they, they have had valuable experience. So like, you know. <laughs> Indeed. Men, do you have any thoughts or ideas? They were on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh man, yeah, you put me on the spot. What was the question again? <laughs> Do you have anything to contribute? To what it's like to be a board member? That's like field yeah. is way open. I mean, you know, like it's uh, it it's kind of the the most important thing you can do as a board member is to have opinions. Um, and uh, you know, I think there's no shortage of opinions within the OSM community. So, like, ju just on that basis alone, we should have a very competitive election. <laughs> um. I, I think uh, as far as yeah responsibilities, you know, um, I, I think you've all you've all nailed it. Uh, there's uh, there's it's it's a pretty lightweight, um, and uh, you know uh, everyone's uh, like just keeping the keeping the ship running smoothly. That's all. Yep. And having opinions. So if you are one of the over three hundred people that responded to our um, Slack status, <laughs> come on in. <laughs> I will say we we all have opinions, but the meetings are actually very easy. Like they're not generally, you know, heated or any. You know, it's very you know collegial and professional and stuff. And so it's you know we're able we're able to make that all work, which is nice. So like we do have we bring our opinions, but we also bring you know, <laughs> uh, you know the ability to listen and learn. <laughs> Community building, take the parts of the community that you know and bring those ideas and thoughts to the board meetings because you are part of the board. <laughs> there's some there's some sort of selection, nice selection bias of the kind of people who want to run to help volunteer in this sort of capacity or also just sort of like generally, you know, cooperative and these sorts of things. So we, you know, we're, we, we all get along pretty good, which is nice. <laughs> you know, Maggie doesn't sit online all day uh, looking at the latest map community drama uh, because she has a full-time job to do. Um, and so having a bunch of board members that are plugged into that sort of stuff uh, is important community connection to the professional organization. 
<laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we have about a minute left. If there's anybody want to have a, a final word, I can provide a little more information about the upcoming elections if that's helpful. Um, nominations will open tomorrow um, and there will be a table on the wiki. We can drop that link. Feel free to nominate yourself. If you are going to nominate someone else, please let them know and ask them if it's okay. Um, you do have to become an individual member to be able to run for the board or to vote. So I encourage you to do that as well. Um, and there will be another forum like this for the candidates. So we'll be able to gather together again in a public uh, member town hall to be able to ask the candidates questions before you choose to vote. So I will drop the link to all of those important dates in the chat as well. Any final words from you all? Okay. Letting somebody know um, that you have nominated them is important because they need to accept it. And then also on the wiki, you'll see that there's a place for you to put up a statement about why you're interested in running in the board. And it doesn't have to be that you are an intense mapping person. You're just interested in strategy of communi communicating about OSM to communities. Maybe that's, that's the thing that you're interested in working on. Whatever it might be, you have a chance to write a little statement about yourself and your interests. So take a look at that. Um, Wiki and you can see the statements people have written in the past just to kind of model off of that. And it's very welcoming. Thank you, Matt, even though your name says Maggie, which I think is very funny. Um... <laughs> oh yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Ming, for your comments. Thank you, Brian, and thank you, Diane. Um, they will all be available on Slack if you have other questions. <laughs>